afternoon, y'all. Um, I want to make a video today. I talked about the other day how I was going to talk about how my last overdose um, made me kind of see see things in a different perspective. Um, 2018, I think it was around about um, 20, 20. It's probably been 17. Um, I went to the hospital for an unrelated um, staph infection that went to my bloodstream. So I was I was pretty sick. Um, the The doctors had cut me off opiates, um, and so when I went to the hospital, I was unable to access anything on my own. <clears throat> so, not having no, no access to any kind of pain medication, um, me not knowing much about heroin, I ended up buying some. I had a pick line in that goes a pick line goes in your arm up the main artery. And it drops in right above the heart into the main arteries um, that goes to your body. And I, sh I shot it into my pick line. Um, I woke up and the whole room was full of nurses and, and whoever else, staff. And they were all looking at me. And I had a bag of heroin on my chest. Um, but I guess they gave me a bunch of Narcan um, brought me back. <clears throat> but after that... Um, I was still on IV antibiotics, and uh, the hospital, St. John's, decided um, they put me in, like, this storage closet. I don't know if that's literally what it was, but it's just this little bitty uh, room behind the nurse's station. And uh, to finish my IV antibiotic, they, they sent me to a nursing home. Um, it's right by St. John's up there, and this place had a metal detector. I mean, <laughs> it was pretty ghetto. Um... I went in there and I didn't have a power chair, so I was in a manual wheelchair. I had an IV in my arm, so I wasn't really able to wheel around much. So I was pretty much stuck in bed. Um, the people that were walking around were all not people that I uh, felt that I was in the condition to be around. But with the behaviors and the actions I chose, it got me put there. Um, luckily, I was only there a week, maybe, and I got back home. My mom got me back home, um, to my home, uh, and said something to me while I was up there about my dog. Um, my house got broke into while I was gone. <clears throat> Sheba, you know, she goes without me. She's, like, lost. Um, so... That made me realize that my actions and the behaviors that I was living was only going to make me wind up in one place, um, and that's a nursing home, and that would have been for the rest of my life. Um, I would have died in a nursing home. I would have died around the environment that I'm talking about how bad it was. That's where I would have had my legacy. Um, true, right, um, on, my, on my Facebook um, he's been a motivation of mine. Um, he talks about how I'm not my condition. Um, and I want to leave a legacy. Um, when people remember me, um, I don't want them to think, oh, it's so sad. He could have been so much more. Or it's so sad why he had to go this way and he didn't. He had a choice. You know, I don't want that. I want people to smile and say, you know, he had a rough life and it was because of his decisions. But at the end, he pulled it together, and he tried to do good with what happened to him. Um, and, and with that, if I can do good to anyone out there, to anyone I talk to in person, to anyone that I can transcribe the story that I have experienced in a way that can help someone avoid experiencing themselves, or even to learn afterwards that there's hope. Nate, it's hope. Story of hope, man. Um... You know, we all we all put ourselves in the positions we think we deserve. Um, if we're if we are on the floor every night or with a needle in our arm, um, that's because we feel like we deserve it. Um, and we all deserve so much more. Um, we deserve the fight that we have in us, and we all have a fight. We just gotta find it. Someone's just gotta light the fuse, man. You you gotta get it together, and no matter on your lowest days. Find all you're grateful for. Open your eyes and look around. It's not that hard. Don't be stuck in thoughts of the future and thoughts of the past. Be in the moment and see actually how hard it is. How horrible is it in the actual moment when you take all the thoughts of the future and all the thoughts of the past of what's happened to you or why you are, what you are, or where you are. 
if you take all that away and you look at the moment, um, it's generally not near as bad. Um, it may still be bad. It may still be hard. Um, but it's not as bad as what we live. Um, it's all in perception. Um, wipe your glasses. Look around. Be grateful. Give yourself a hug. Go out with love. Peace out. Trips out.